So this is Maui. I think Maui's around five years old. Looks like a little staffy mix to me. Don't quote me on that. He could be a multitude. He could be a multitude of things, but Mr. Maui here is with me for three weeks. And uh, I guess particularly just kind of wanted to make this video to talk a little bit about, you know, because people have asked in the, in the past, you know, what do you do uh, in the first couple of days with a board and train? Well, I've done the same exact thing that I've done with every single board and train that's come here for the past five years. Um, and that's pretty much a whole lot of nothing. Uh, a lot of acclimation, a lot of familiarity, opportunity, positive experience, very limited pressure, very limited pressure, certainly no positive, certainly no negative reinforcement or negative punishment. That's something that, that I believe is to be earned somewhere down the line after there's some trust and some rapport built up, uh, so to speak. Everything that I do sort of revolves around relationship building, right? And so as far as I'm concerned, if he were to have come here, because he came here two days ago, I don't know, I just feel like going straight to work and asking a lot of a dog that doesn't know you yet, I don't know, I think there may be a breach in the relationship there. I think that might, might start off on the wrong foot, so to speak. Could you imagine you go to a place and some stranger tells you what to do or you know, punches you in the arm for doing something wrong like in the first day? I don't know how well you would really... I don't think most people would really take that, uh, take that very well. But if it's like your mom or your dad or you know, somebody you trust, right? They reprimand you or something like that. I think you're probably a little bit more inclined to take that a little bit more with a grain of salt. And there might be, you know, some healthy constructive criticism there as opposed to some stranger doing it on day one, right? So that's just kind of like where my that's kind of like where my head is, man. You know, I, as you can see, I got them on a long line here. And I've got, you know, acreage here to roam. I'm just going to make this video explaining, you know, what we're going to be doing for the next day or two before we really start getting into anything formal. You know, eventually, you know, after we work on his obedience here and get his walk dialed in here and create some relationship, we're going to head out into the world and, and address a couple of the things that, you know, his mom says that's happening in reference to you know, reactivity to things and things like this. But I also want to do some things to help his confidence because he's, he's kind of a bit of a sketched out dog, you know, he tends to be a little sketched out over some things. So, you know, we're going to work on some of his confidence while he's here. And, you know, one of the things I always talk about in reference to helping confidence is the relationship itself. Because I think like the more the dog actually identifies that a handler is in control of things, I think confidence ultimately ends up a byproduct of that sort of relationship because the dog doesn't necessarily feel like they have to fear as many things because the owner is in control so frequently. Does, does that make sense? And so that's something that we're going to gear our uh, attention to uh, during the course of this program. But right now, he's using his nose. He's familiarizing with where he's at. And again, this is the type of stuff that I need for uh, allow him to do so that he could kind of let his hair down and, and become the dog that he normally is when he's back home, right? A lot of times dogs will come here and they'll behave completely differently than when they are at home because they're just not quite as comfortable. So I want to get him comfortable. I want to see, I want to see him. I want to see who he is and how he's been doing things. And then by that point, him and I would have built something up together. And then I would have earned a little bit more of the right to communicate to him, you know, in a way that he's going to understand. And of course, when I say that, people are like, oh, what are you going to do? Correct the shit out of him? Not necessarily. Any pressure that I ever apply to a dog is going to be applied fairly and appropriately. And the dog is always the one to dictate, you know, what's aversive and what isn't. So it's all fair and it's all appropriate in accordance to the kid that I'm, that I'm teaching. You know, a lot of people ask me, what's your style? Well, I don't know, really. What dog is it? You know, that type of thing. So we're just going to, come here, bub. Yeah, it's a guy. We're just going to be toting around. I'm going to show him the property, long line, no pressure, do what you want, sniff it out. Get familiar. We're going to be here together for three weeks, pal. And the goal is to get a lot better while you're here. Appreciate you guys watching. It's a whole lot of nothing, basically. <laughs> Stay tuned.
Peace.